In the beginning, the Earth was devoid of living things. Then, about three and a half billion years ago, something completely new appeared, life. For two and a half billion years, single-celled organisms dominated the Earth. They were minuscule creatures, completely enclosed in a fragile membrane. These were living, pulsing beings, but they were not animals. Somehow, cells developed a language that allowed them to work together. When they did, it was a turning point for life on Earth the very first animal had begun to take shape. How did life on Earth become so diverse, encompassing millions of species? How did animals come to be designed the way they are? And what do their shapes tell us of their history? How has the struggle to survive molded the shape of life? And what can we learn from the survivors? And how did we humans arise from the complex tapestry of life on Earth? This is really a very exciting time to be looking at evolutionary biology. There are three strands to the story that are beginning to grow and weave into each other to produce a really strong story. The first is paleontology, which is beginning to make new discoveries and has filled in a lot of gaps in our knowledge of extinct animals. Scientists are also deciphering the genetic secrets of how animals living today have acquired their shapes. By studying the genes that are involved in shaping this embryo and comparing the genes to those of animals higher and lower on the evolutionary tree, we can say a great deal about the evolution of body form. And finally, we can combine DNA sequences and anatomy to construct the animal family tree in powerful new ways. Over the past roughly two decades, the tools are there, coming from genetics and molecular biology, recombinant DNA work, and classical embryology and paleontology. All these different fields are all coming together. And all of a sudden, people are talking to each other who never had any opportunity or reason to before. If we can get some DNA from these guys by this week, we could probably set up some PCR experiments around Thursday or Friday. We should be able to get a sequence from these things.